Hey all, and what I'm going to do here is show you two very effective methods for beating mini boss mode. The first method is if you want to farm crystals and beat it quickly. The second method is more for the harder stages. So for the first method, if we go over to here, what you need is a wisdom glory with the expert item you can see here. If there's a pilot squad, has 70% active superpower in seven seconds. So what that means is the ship will randomly get superpower when you obtain it, basically. The other expert item doesn't really matter too much, but you need this one on the Wisdom Glory. What you also need is a very specific pilot squad. If we go over to here, it's the squad power squad when a boss appears grants a ship stronger than the current one so on the very first wave you will get a wisdom glory then you will hopefully get a super time and then just plow through the enemies so let's go over to stage eight i think this is the best one for farming if you want to go back to previous stages just press those arrows and here we go, let's try this with this setup. So what will happen at the start is a Wisdom Glory will drop down. Then hopefully I will get a Super Time as well. Then I'll be able to just plow through the waves. It doesn't always give the Super Time, but it is 70%. So most of the time you'll get a Super Time, as you can see here. I also have Invincibility when Super Time is active. That's on the wings. That's not essential for this though. You can see here, I'm getting through at the enemies at a rather ridiculous pace actually. And then with a bit of luck, I will get a cyber blade on this wave. Here we go. And that will allow me to progress through the rest of the bosses really quickly. This is a very easy way. Again, I have invincibility because of the wings I have equipped. But this is the best stage for getting crystals as well. So using this method, you can sometimes beat mini boss stage eight in under a minute. I don't think I'm going to be under a minute this time around though. A little bit slow on the end boss. My cyber blade is not as powerful as it should be. It's only half upgraded. But you can see the method though, you'll get a cyber blade pretty much every single time with this method. Plus, you'll get that wisdom glory at the start, then hopefully a super time, then you can complete it really quickly. And there we go, 86 seconds for that stage. So I'll just show you the wings I had equipped as well. If we go over here, it's the hawk wings, buff shield when superpower is active. You might want to experiment with the wings though, as if you're reasonably skilled, you shouldn't really need that. I will also show you my cyber blade. It's not as strong as I want it to be, as I mentioned. 15 power and three on the bullet level. Once this is maxed out though, you should get a cyber blade every single time with this method, allowing you to absolutely fly through those last few waves. It's also a good way of ranking up Cyberblade as well. So now we're going to try a slightly different method. This might be more useful on the later stages. I don't recommend going too far with mini boss mode though. Stage eight is really good for farming crystals. The further you go with this, the longer it takes to go back to the earlier stages. What you need for this is a pulse blast with the expert item carrier uplink. Drops a random ship after one wave without a ship drop. So what happens here is on the very first wave, after defeating the first boss, a random ship will drop. What you also need is a very specific pilot squad. What you need is the squad if we scroll down to here. Invulnerability for the first 10 seconds upon confronting bosses, the magic squad. So let's go back over to mini boss mode. Let's go over to stage eight again and we'll have another bit of fun with this. There we go. 
Right, so I have 10 seconds of invincibility for every single boss, basically. Plus, after I defeat the first boss, I should get some sort of ship drop. And that should allow me to get through this really quickly if it's something decent. It does rely quite a lot on luck, though. But for the later stages, this should make them really easy. This isn't the best ship, if I'm being honest. I don't really like this ship that much. So the other method might be more effective if you only want to farm crystals and beat this quickly. You can see the idea behind this though. Invincibility for the first 10 seconds. I'm not taking any damage. I can do what I want. And that should be enough to almost get through the boss. So you should be invincible for pretty much all of the time you are playing. Especially when there's nasty PvP attacks like this. It's very useful to be invincible. Just be a bit careful that you don't take a hit when the invincibility wears off. But even with a weak ship like this, it's not super difficult. Just have to be a bit careful though. It's definitely not as quick as the other method, that's for sure. But it's a safer method, especially if you get a really good ship to drop. Try and finish this off nice and quickly. Would be nice if I got something a bit better, but I'm going to have to make do with this, unfortunately. I'll get in nice and close for this one. Invincibility lasted for the entire boss time there. Would have been nice to get a Terminator or Legendary, though. A fully upgraded Terminator would probably defeat all the bosses in well under 10 seconds. This is the big crystal farming boss though. It hasn't dropped any crystals this time around, which is a bit unlucky. Corpse Breath is probably the hardest boss out of these. Just have to be a bit careful, as sometimes it can trap you. Make the attack go the other way like that. There we go. And hopefully I should... Oh, there's the legendary dropping just as I finish. That's a bit unlucky. But you get the general idea behind this method. It's pretty effective, but does also rely on luck. And there we go. I think that about covers this video. I hope that was interesting and helpful. This is what my profile currently looks like. I am a VIP Zero player with a rather high combat power. I have logged into my older device, which is why it's not showing the clan. It's also not showing my global ranking, but it is around 500 when I last checked. If you did enjoy this video, please do give it a like and subscribe to the channel. Subscribing is always very much appreciated. And thank you to those that have already subscribed. I've only done a few videos for this game. One of them is on the screen right now. There's also a playlist there. Plus you can also subscribe from here if you want to do so. And thanks for watching.